Greetings YouTube. How's everybody doing out there today? It is a beautiful Monday today and it is nice and cool and I worked a lot of hours last night. I'm hoping this night shift comes to an end this week. That's what I'm hoping. I'm about done. Got a little mess going on here. But I want to show you some tools that I got. I got me a probe kit. I got me a probe kit. I think it's a 92 piece probe kit. It comes with all the paperwork. It tells you what you got, what they do, all the other good stuff. Um, I got this off of eBay. It was 140 bucks. And uh, of course, they're all made in China. They're all made in China. This here don't don't say where it's made, but I know it's made in China. But I bought these. I bought this out of California. That way I can get it. Because I would have bought a Chinese one. Chinese ones, if you get them out of straight, if you get them out of China, um, they're cheaper. But you got to wait a while because they got to go through customs and all that other stuff. And <clears throat> it's got a lot of nice features to it. And then I got me a power probe, which is also, it says designed in USA, made in China. <laughs> That's why I say some, some things are uh, quality. Got me a power probe here. This right here goes in there like that. Got a, got a needle. Got an off and on button. That's so... Um, you can back feed directly into something and it helps it helps lead you to a uh, broken wire and it's got a little buzzer thing that tells you an indicator and it comes I, I wanted the master kit guys the master kit was just too expensive this kit was like 140 bucks and you can go you got the cigarette lighter one you got an extension or you got you can just clip directly to the battery. There's your ground. And this, of course, is your hot. Um, the number on this, it well, it's a Power Probe 3. It's a Power Probe 3. Because the, the prices range. You can get... Oh, I didn't even know there was a decal in there. Cool. Cool. I'll find a place to put that. You can get just like a regular power probe without all this extension and stuff for like, I don't know, I think it's a hundred bucks or less. It just comes in a pack, but you don't get no extension cords with it. I gotta find somewhere to put my power probe thing. Right now, I'll place it on my toolbox. I'll figure somewhere, figure something out. So I got less than 300 bucks in, in and uh, both of these kits, guys. Get this right here. I'm going to slide this. Yeah, that don't come up. So, it's got a lot of nice features. I really like this feature right here. It's got like a, a, um, a delay where you can up the power, slow down the power. It's pretty nice. And it's, it's got more probes got more probes extensions got clamp more alligator clamps it's a pretty nice set guys and uh, one of the best thing about this is even if they go all electric with cars which they're going you could still use it because most of your electric cars are going to have a lot more wire in it and if you live out in the country like I do if your car sits in a spot too long Eventually, a mouse will get up in there and probably start chewing on your wires. They just love the, the plastic or coating around wires. I don't know why. But the case is pretty nice. They have other ones that have like a plastic case with the display window on the front of it. And most of them are in China, like I said. I bought it, I bought it because it was in California. 
and it was like uh, three to four days shipping on it. So, not too bad of a kit. I bought it. Hopefully, I never have to use it because when you break these, when you got to break this kind of stuff out, guys, that means you got a serious wiring problem. But. I'll have it in my tool collection, and um, we'll see what happens. I know um, I know a lot of people, you know what, I was at Harbor Freight, it was 10, 15 years ago, and a guy told me, he said, man, he said, I'm probably going to have to wind up junking all my tools in the future. I said, why? He said, because they're going to come out with all these electric cars. And you can't work on these electric cars with these tools. And I told him, I said, well, there might be some truth to that, but um, you still use these wrenches. Like like the star star wrenches here, the for the um, torques, these torque wrenches. Yeah, I probably won't be able to use them. I probably won't be able to use them over time as time gets going but the regular wrenches and ratchets and everything I can use them on decks uh, not only that the electric cars still got to have suspension body parts you know they might not have a 22 millimeter uh, bolt on there anymore but for body parts and even the older cars they they already got retro um, electric engines for them and they're, they're just going to get you know more and more powerful so but i'm not liking this electric car stuff i'll be honest with you guys i'm not liking it i'll save that for another video but um yeah i got i got about i got less than 300 bucks in this whole kit here and like i said i hope i never have to use it but if i do it's i got it because a serious wiring problem can be horrible because it'll be a wire that's got a pinch in it somewhere where you're not going to see it right away and you gotta basically like me if I had a wiring issue right now today right now I wouldn't mess with it because it would just it would just it's one of those type of things man where you need a whole day to yourself so you can go and take your time and focus on getting that wire finding that wire and it could take a while it could take more than a day to find it um, they got other they got another power probe out there it's not made by power probe where you if you know where one end of the wire is and you know where the other end of the wire is you can put this thing on there and then you can hit it with the other end and they'll send a voltage through the wire and make the thing buzz. But if it don't buzz, that means you got a broken wire. They also have that thing too. Phone companies use them. That's how they find broken wires. So, well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Today is Monday. I am working late tonight. I got to be in there. I got to leave about 11 o'clock tonight because we start rolling at midnight. And it's taking forever, guys, on this job. I can't wait to get it over with. Right. It is Monday, about 7.30. Um, it feels great outside. Actually, I come in here, I got to fix my weed eater. I got to put some more string on my weed eater. So, well, guys, I hope you're having a great day out there. Don't, uh, don't buy into the hype. You know, I'm hearing a lot of bad things about these vaccines, how, you know, down the road they're going to get start getting people and making people sick. So, that's why I'm not getting vaccinated. They're, it's a weapon. It ain't happening with me. So, well, guys, I hope you guys continue to have a great rest of your week. Until the next time, bye-bye.